cuties. I'm Anika, and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is uh, the Bold and the Beautiful Edition. All right, guys. Uh, let's jump right into it. Today is today is Tuesday, November the 15th, 2022. And we start off with seeing Douglas and Thomas. And Douglas pretty much doesn't want anything to do with Thomas. He's disappointed in him. Um, Thomas is like, hey, bud, I wanted to, um, since, you know, you can miss school today and come with me to work. Or it's an early day or something like that. But anyways, he said, you could come with me to work. And Douglas is just like, no, nah, I'm cool. And he was like, what? You don't want to come? I want to show you your legacy, the Forester. And I was like, y'all are not Foresters, but okay, we'll go with this. Um I want to show you the legacy and everything. And he says, you know, I know because and he says, what's wrong? And he tells him, I don't like what you did to Grandma Brooke. Like, you know, I'm not I'm not cool with that. And you can't just wave, you know, because Thomas, I mean, Douglas at one time did want to go and, and miss school and see work with him, you know, go to work with his dad and his mom. But he's like, now you're just doing that because you know you were wrong. And Thomas is still trying to tell Douglas, I know what I did seems wrong, but it's really not. And you'll understand. And it's for the best. Um, what, you know, what I, what I've done. Um, you'll understand because it's for our family and Douglas is just like, okay. Yeah. So then we see Steffi goes in with, um, and she's on the phone in the office and, Taylor and Ridge come in and they're like, get off the phone, get off the phone. They're so excited. And she's like, what is it? What is it? And um, they tell her, Taylor shows the ring and she's like, oh my gosh, y'all are engaged. And she's like, yeah, he, he proposed to me. And um, someone said yesterday it was a nice proposal. And it was, I, glanced, I, I skimmed over it, honestly, because I'm so disappointed for Taylor because I know this is not going to end well for her. And I hate that. Um, but so she's excited and Steffi was like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this so long. And I'm like, wow, this seems like his best friends, not mommy and uh and, and daughter. But I mean, it is what it is. She's very happy for her. And so because she's very happy for her, she's just like, I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, excuse me, because she's happy for her. She's like, I can't believe that um, y'all is this has finally happened. I'm so excited. Um, and then at this point, Donna and Eric come in. And so when Donna and Eric come in, they were like, what's all the commotion? What's the excitement? And they said, Steffi was all too happy. Dad proposed to mom. And Donna was just like, oh, Donna was me. And then here is uh, Eric like, really? And I said, Eric, pull it together. That's your son. And Eric said, uh, uh, you done let me pull it together then. I I'm happy for you. And Donna said, well, what about Brooke? Donna is me like, um, you're not going to be all this ecstatic and this excited. What about my sister? <laughs> Oh, but they don't care. Um, they do not care what Donna is talking about. They are happy. And then, you know, Donna walks away and, and all them together. And then Douglas and Thomas comes in and he was like, what's what's going on? And they said, tell him, tell him, tell him. Mom and dad got engaged and Taylor shows the ring and everything. He was like, what? You guys did it. I said, overacting much. But anyways, they're... Um, they're all excited about everything. And so then we see that Donna is just like, she's over in the corner by herself and she's like, oh, and then Steffi tells little Douglas, like, aren't you happy? Um, you know, for grandpa, uh, you know, Ridge and grandma Taylor. And he's like, yeah, but I'm thinking about grandma Brooke. Cause he knows that grandma Brooke is in sad because of Thomas. And they're saying, what? Well, I mean, yeah. And so everybody turned to look at him because he was like, I'm thinking about Grandma Brooke. She over there sad while y'all over here celebrating. And I know why she's sad. And so Thomas was, they were, Thomas was like, yeah, he's happy. He's happy. Like he keeps answering for Douglas. And after that, he, you know, he has to. And so then Rich um, and Eric talk. And he says, you know, whatever makes you happy, you know, I'm here to support. And then Taylor says, I know that you loved, um, Brooke and you thought that was the destiny, but he said, "No, no, I'm ha I'm happy. If if you make him happy, then that's what it is." You know, er Eric did. He Eric is confused by all of this, um, as well as Donna and everyone else. They're just confused by it all. 
because it's happening so fast. It's happening so fast that Ridge actually, okay, so Donna ends up leaving and they say, is she okay? And Eric says, yeah, she just wants to, um, you know, give the blow to Brooke so it doesn't come as such, such, you know, hard, a hard blow for her. She wants to give the news to Brooke so it doesn't come as such a hard blow. And so then Eric ends up leaving and um taylor said i just wish eric would have been a little more happy girl you got what you got none you know you my girl but you know you got what you got he don't he don't he liked ridge with brooke and he you know he doesn't understand what's going on so like ain't nobody gonna be over the moon for y'all they liked ridge with brooke it, you know in their circle so I mean, I'm I'm not even over the moon, and and I like you, girl. But I know Ridge is doing nothing but playing you, so that's why this is just like mm, to me. But anyways, Steffi says, "Oh, Taylor asked Steffi to be her. Um, is it maid? Of, no, it's matron when they're married, right? Anyways, and then Ridge asks Thomas to be his best man, and then they're all like, I believe that's what he said." I don't know. I tuned out. I I tuned out because I know I already know this wedding is not gonna end in disaster. No, no need in me getting it all bogged down into the details of, of watching when it's gonna be a disaster. I feel bad for my girl because you know the spoilers are like it's a race to stop the wedding, and I said, well, oh man, it's gonna be a few months while they plan all this, but. Taylor said he already gave me a dress. And Steffi said, Oh, y'all could get married tomorrow. And then Taylor's face, I said, Wait a minute, Taylor. <laughs> they are getting married tomorrow. I said, Uh uh. What? Taylor, Taylor said, I am getting this man to the altar. He has proposed. He got the dress. He's done everything. We are going and getting married, girl. And I said, Well, okay. And Ridge said, we're not getting any younger. I'm not going to talk to you. But we're not getting any younger, so let's go ahead and do this. I said, uh-uh. This is rushed. This is, why is it okay for Ridge to rush like that? But when Carter wanted to do it, it was, oh, Carter, you're doing this um, to bury your feelings. Ridge is doing the exact same thing, but only difference is at least Carter wasn't married to Quinn. <laughs> you know, he wasn't trying to um, Paris. He wasn't trying to break away, bury his feelings for Quinn because they were married they just liked each other a lot and but with Ridge he he just signed a I didn't even know oh no I mean papers could go through that fast I thought it took a few days for the judge to say, I don't know I said child they just got this divorce this annulment but they said uh it's, it is what it is so look Douglas he sit over in the corner and he just looking at them like mm -hmm. mm. And so then Thomas goes over to him because Steffi asked little Douglas, you didn't answer my question. Are you happy? He was like, yes, he's happy. That was earlier. So then Thomas goes over to Douglas and he's like, look how happy your grandma Taylor and grandpa Ridge are. Look at how happy your aunt Steffi is. You got to stay um, quiet about what you know. It's for the best. And the way Thomas is looking at little Douglas Little Douglas, just just do what this little this psycho says. Cause I'm sorry, Thomas is a whole psycho. Something is wrong with him, and it's been wrong with him. And at this point, I, like I'm done with Thomas. Don't come back trying to talk about he had a tumor or he. No, this is Thomas, and he's never going to change. And I'm sorry if y'all are upset <laughs> about that and feel like that he should. But I mean, at this point. Go on, sir. Because anybody and all these people, I remember y'all was giving me the business when I said Thomas um wasn't the best example for Douglas. Y'all were giving me the business, but look at what he's doing, how he's teaching him. You can lie to get what you want, you can connive and do awful things as long as it gets you what you want in the end. That is no type of role model for their son. Then we go over here to Brooke and Katie, and she says, I can't believe you signed the papers, but, you know, Brooke is like, I don't feel like our marriage is over. She said, girl, y'all just signed the annulment papers. She said, yes, but I feel like he needed that from me, but I'm still going to, you know, believe in our marriage and trust that he's going to come back. And so she still thinks their marriage has a shot. I said, oh, mm-mm. Mm -mm. And so then we see Donna come over, right? And because, okay, so Brooke was telling Katie that um, she feels like this has something to do with Thomas. And Katie says, how? She said, I don't know. But Ridge just kept saying what uh, that they're 
annulment had something to do with, you know, why with Thomas, like his feelings um, about Tom, some kind of way it was tied into Thomas. And Katie says, well, you've let your feelings be known. And she said, yeah, but I don't think that was it. Like, it was like, I did something to Thomas, but I don't know what he's talking about. So then, um, and if I was Brooke, I would, there was no way I would have signed an annulment. You should have got a lawyer and said, if you want to leave me partner, we got to get the divorce because you're not going to annul this and act like all these years didn't happen. No way. But anyways, then uh, Donna comes over and she says, they look at her face and they said, what? And Brooke already knew. She said, don't tell me. And she said, I just wanted to be you this to come from me, but Ridge proposed to Taylor and they're getting married. And she said, oh my gosh, because Brooke is like, if he proposed to her, that means he had a ring and he had all this planned when, at the time when we styled our annulment. And I said, yes, he did. While he was looking in your face saying that he didn't want this, he didn't want to get a divorce, a annul an annulment from you. You were still over there planning stuff. I said, leave Narcissus Ridge alone. Leave him alone, Brooke. And and even when the truth comes out, oh, I'll give Brooke a backbone, please. When the truth comes out, please let her be like, I don't want you. Look, like, look at what you've done. Everything bad, you always believe in me. Like he, he everything bad, he's always believing, and it has nothing to do with Brooke. Just in this year, as far as her drinking and kissing Deacon. And anytime he sees her with Bill or anything, it's always something bad. And then you just you just automatically believe she called CPS. I know he heard the voice recording, but he said she wouldn't lie to me. So then why didn't you try to dig deeper into it? I don't know, y'all. I'm sick of Ridge. To be quite honest with you, I want Brooke to say, no, I don't want you. And then Taylor to find out, oh, so you only came to me because you were upset with Brooke? No, I don't want you either. Leave him alone. Let him be by himself. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel. Uh, that That's it. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.